Hi and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. Today we're going to be drawing Chris Kratt from Wild Kratt. Yeah, we've been drawing Wild Kratt's creatures, not creatures, <laughs> Wild Kratt's main characters this week. And we did a Viva before, and now we're doing Chris. And my kids have loved Wild Kratt's forever, since they were little. And my oldest is blonde, and he, my second, is, has dark hair. He's Just, not blonde. Well, he was blonde when he was little. So I had my blonde and my brown haired boys that loved animals, so I always thought they were kind of like the crap brothers. <laughs> so that's why we're doing Chris, and we're going to do Martin with my oldest. All right, we're going to want to have Chris's head up here, shoulders and legs, so don't draw it too big at first. So we're going to do his spiky hair. Three spikes up, and then this one swoops back and down. There's two of them there, and then we've got the top of his hair right there, and then it angles in right there. All right. And then his ear, we make that shape like that. Okay, and then we're gonna do a curve line up to here. And then there's a little notch right here. And then you kinda that and over and connect it with that hair. All right, so his chin is down here and then it curves up and connects right there. Awesome, looking good. Okay, so his eyebrows are like up in his hairline. And then his eyes, well, let's draw his nose first. So the nose comes from this eyebrow, just come down a little bit and then go And then his one eye right here gets hidden by part of the nose. And then his other eye, you can see the whole circle. And then we're just gonna put a dot for the pupil. And then we'll just draw a line around that later. Since you're using, well, I think, I think it'll be better to just draw a line around the pupil later because it's hard to do it with Sharpies because it's supposed to be really small. Okay, so for his mouth, he's gonna have one line right here for the top part of his smile. And then the bottom part of his smile is right here. And then his teeth are right here. And his tongue is right here. And then for his ear, we've got a little curve right there, and then another curve up there. Okay, for his neck, we're going to draw a line down here, and then another one right here, and then his collar like that and then that front neckline needs to come down to the collar and then his back collar goes diagonal down and then diagonal back in to meet up with this one and then it comes around behind his neck curves back down like that so now we've got a diagonal line right here 
And that's where the creature power vest starts. And then we're gonna make his shoulder right here and then down. And then his sleeve starts right here, goes here, and then we've got some wrinkles in the fabric of his sleeve. Down to there. So we'll do it like that for now. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to come over to this shoulder and do a little diagonal line that way. And then it's going to curve right here for his vest. Okay, so now we need to fit in the three toe pads for the paw print. And we'll draw the, the circle later because it's going to be covered up by his arm. He's got his <coughs> arm. He has his arms folded. So draw a little diagonal line there and then down. And then right here, we're going to draw his fingers. One, two, three, four. Because he's got his fingers over his other arm. He's folding his arms. Then the bottom of his um, gloves right here and there's a ridge right here and then another one right here. Okay and then it comes up to about there. So this part is going to be green, black, Hi. green. Green, black, green, and then this is black except for this little section where the creature pod usually is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then a diagonal line to meet up with that part of his hand. Okay, and then we can do a half circle, right? here. And then over here, we're going to finish this sleeve real quick. And then his elbow is right here. And then just show the back part of that sleeve. Like that. We good? Okay. So now the lower arm, you're gonna make that green ridge and another one right here. And then the black part's gonna be like that. Okay, and then the Creature pod part shows right there. And then his elbow. Well, actually, let's draw a sleeve first. So it comes out here, and you've got the wrinkles in the sleeve. And then it connects right there. And you can draw some wrinkles in the shirt right there. And then his elbow. His elbow is right there, and it connects behind right there. All right, cool. So we've got the top part of him done. So now think about how the vest ends back here, and then his shirt goes right there. And then from his elbow down right there. So not too far, just a little bit. Yep, good job. And then it curves down like this. See? And then this part is black 
right here. And you can color that later when you're using a marker mm. if you want. And then this part is black too. Okay. All right. Oh, I forgot one thing up here. We've got these green stripes. You see that? Yeah. All right, so now his legs, you've got this part going diagonal forward. And then you've got this leg diagonal back. Like that. And then straight across for the shorts, like this. And then there's a line along the bottom. And the zipper's right here. And he's got a pocket that shows right here. And then the upper pocket is like this. And then just a little bit of a pocket shows over here. Nice. Okay, so now his legs are real skinny. Are you going to be able to do the boot? <laughs> oh, yeah. So it comes forward to there, and then the calf curves in to there. And then his other leg comes more out of the middle, and it's just slightly diagonal. And the calf is there too, like that. And then his socks, he's got bunchy socks, like that. Okay, and then his boot, you make kind of like a triangular shape and then curve it out, angle it down, and then curve it forward. And come back and I'm going to make this a little wider with a black stripe right there. Then I'm going to put some X's for the laces right here. And then the actual tie for his laces. And then the sole of his boot goes there, and the heel is back there. Okay. And then the boot back here. Same basic principle, but it's facing forward a little more. So come down and then you're just going to make kind of like a rainbow shape right here or, or a half rainbow I guess you could say. And I'm almost to the edge of my paper but that's okay because it's right where I need to be actually. <laughs> that's kind of fun. And there's the sole. Okay, and then two X's for the laces, mm. like wide X's right there. No, I just want those not good. Yeah, it doesn't fine. And you can fix it with your marker, because you actually don't need the heel on that one. The heel doesn't show on that one. And then the tie, and we... Yeah, it looks really good. One more thing, he has these little stripes in his hair. Okay. Okay, I need marker. All right, so now we're gonna color it.
we'll do it in time lapse. Thank you for drawing with us, and I hope you had fun drawing Chris Kratt. Mm -hmm. Tag me at Sarah no. Hatch. Tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio, or have one of your parents do it for me on Instagram, Sarah Hatch Art Studio, and then I'll be able to see your drawings. Have, have a, a great summer. <laughs> we hope you have a good one, and we will see you later.